Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to send telegram message for Go High Level task. So here, my objective is that whenever a new task will be created in Go High Level account for a particular person, then automatically the task detail should be sent as a message on my telegram channel. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a connection between Go High Level and telegram and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect works on two principles trigger and action so in trigger we are going to take go high level and in action we are going to take telegram and we are going to set up a connection between these two applications to automate this entire process and to learn this amazing automation step by step let me take you all towards my screen so in this video I'm going to show you step by step that how we can set up a connection between go high level and telegram in such a way that whenever a new task will be created in go high level then the message along with all the details of the task will be sent on our telegram group or channel now here I am going to create this automation with the help of Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software which helps us to set up connections between different applications to automate all our tasks without the requirement of any coding and programming skills. This is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping the URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. After coming over here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So in case if you are already an existing user like me, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on the sign up for free button to create your free new account. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, because I'm already an existing user, therefore I'm clicking on sign in. This is all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Babli. To create this automation, we are going to use Babli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Fabli Connect. So on this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create different folders over here to save our workflows accordingly. Now, to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. And here a dialog box is appeared. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, I'm going to provide a name over here. Send telegram message for Go High Level task. After giving this name, here I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save my workflow. So you can see I have multiple folders. I want to save my workflow in this Team Productivity Boosters folder. I have selected that and now let's click on Create. As we have done that, we can see that two windows are open in front of us. First is a trigger and the other is action. So as I told you that Public Connect runs on these two principles. So basically these are the building blocks of our automation. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can add as many action steps as we want. Now let's suppose here I am going to take go high level in my trigger and telegram in my action and I want that whenever a new task will be added in go high level CRM then immediately a message should be sent along with all the details of that task on my telegram group. So here our action is following what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens that means when the task is added in go high level then only the message will be sent on telegram otherwise not. So after understanding the concept of trigger in action, let us start creating the workflow step by step. First of all, we have to select our trigger application and because we want to set up connection between Go High Level and Pabli Connect, so here our trigger application will be Lead Connector V2. So Lead Connector V2 is the tool by using which we have to set up the connection between Go High Level CRM and Pabli Connect. After selecting the application, we also have to select the event that is trigger event. So trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. We have multiple options over here. So on the happening of whichever specific event we want to capture the response, we have to select that. And I want that whenever a task will be added in my Go High Level CRM account, then the response should be captured. As we have done that, here we have received a webhook URL along with some instructions. So we have to follow these instructions step by step to set up the connection and for which the webhook URL is going to act as a bridge. So it is going to transfer the data from Go High Level CRM towards Pabli Connect whenever a task will be added. So let's quickly copy this URL and then I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So first of all, we have to go towards our Go High Level CRM account and here we have to go to automation from the left side under automation here is the option of workflows so basically we have to create a new workflow over here to set up the webhook URL so let's click on this create workflow option and we will click on start from scratch so after doing that a workflow is open in front of us first of all we have to name the workflow so I'm going to give the name as let's say <laughs> new task okay now we have to select the trigger on the happening of whichever event we want to run this workflow that will be our trigger so here our trigger will be task added 
okay if you want you can change the name of your workflow trigger as well but here i'm going to keep it same and we will click on save trigger as we have done that after selecting the trigger we also have to select the action that when a task will be added what we want we want to send a response on public connect with the help of webhook so here our action will be webhook and here you can change the name of your action as well the method will be post and here you have to paste a url which we have copied from Pabli connect now after doing this let's click on save action and here our workflow is ready so this is our trigger and here our action so the trigger is task added and the action is webhook this means that whenever a task will be added in our go high level crm account the response of that task will be immediately captured with the help of webhook in Pabli connect let's save the workflow after saving the workflow we also have to publish this so we'll click on this publish button and we will once again save the published workflow now as we have done that our workflow is published and it is saved so let's go back towards workflows and here we can see that our workflow is ready and it is published so let's go back towards public connect it is showing waiting for webhook response this means that now we have to do a test submission how we are going to do that by adding a new task in go high level crm so we'll go back towards go high level crm we will go towards the contact section and this is the task option on the top so let's select task here i'm going to add a new task and the task title will be let's say social media calendar here i'm going to give the description of the task as well We need to prepare a new social media calendar for upcoming month. After giving the title and the description, I'm going to select the assignee, that to whom I want to assign this task. Here, this is the assignee name, demo user, and we also have to select one contact. So I'm going to give this contact test person. All right, now I'm going to click on save and the task is successfully added you can see so let's go back towards public connect and here we can see that as we have created the task in go high level the response of that task is immediately captured so this is the name of the workflow which we have given new task this is the workflow id here's the title of the task social media calendar the due date of the task here is the description these are all the details of the assignee as well as the contacts this means that our connection is absolutely successful and this means that now whenever a new task will be created immediately the response will be keep on sending towards Pabli connect now our objective is that when we have received the task response from go high level then i want to send the message to my team members on telegram group as well for that we have to set up connection between telegram and Pabli connect so let's move towards our action step here our action application will be telegram bot so let's select that so basically we have to set up a bot in order to send automated messages on our telegram group or channel here our action event will be send text message or reply let's click on connect and here in order to set up the connection we also have to provide one token so from where we are going to get this token for that the instructions are provided to us over here very clearly we just have to follow them so i'm going to take you towards my telegram account here we have to search for bot father as we run that now here we have to send a message to bot father that is slash new bot so let's send the message and it is saying all right a new bot how are we going to call it please choose a name for your bot so whatever name you want to give to your bot you can select that name over here i'm going to give the name as let's say new tasks it is saying good now let's choose a username for your bot it must end in bot like this example so this is the example of the username of the bot now we have to provide a username to our bot and the username should end with underscore bot so the username for my bot will be new marketing task underscore bot let's check whether this name exists or not and yes here it is saying done congratulations on your new bot you will find it in this particular link and this is the api token so this means that our bot is created so we'll simply have to copy this token from here and then we'll go back and paste it over here so in this way we have to find the token we have to generate a bot and then we have to get the token from there let's click on save as we have done that, we can see that Telegram bot is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. After setting up the connection, we have to move forward to enter the details over here. So first of all, it is asking us the chat ID, the ID of the group on which we want to send the message. For getting this chat ID, we have to first of all create the groups. So let's go back towards Telegram. Here I'm going to create a new group and it is asking us the member to whom we want to add. So first of all, it is very important to add the bot which we have recently created in our group. So the name of my bot is new task. I'm going to search for the name. So I've selected the name of my bot and now I'm going to create this group. So the group will be, let's say, 
marketing team so i'm creating this group for assigning tasks to my marketing team so here i'm going to create this group and i've also added the bot to this group okay now before moving forward you also have to provide the admin access right to the bot so in my group you can see that there are two members first is the owner that is me and this is the bot so what i will do i will simply provide admin access right to this particular bot and that can be done with the help of telegram mobile application so with the help of mobile phone i am going to give the admin right to my bot here you can see that i have provided the admin right to my bot now we'll go back towards the ability connect and we have to provide the chat id so you can see that this is my group and on the url of the group this is the chat id so we'll simply copy the chat id and we'll paste it over here done now the next is text message what message you want to send on the group so here i want to send the message as hello team here is the new task the name of the task description and the due date so all these details are to be added from the previous response here i will simply map the data one by one here we can see that we have already received the previous response and we have received all the details in our earlier response so first of all we have to enter the title of the task we will simply map that so when we have mapped this title it has become dynamic that means with each and every new response it is going to replace automatically so now when we have mapped the data automatically whenever a new task will be added in guha level crm automatically the details which we have mapped are going to be replaced in this field and the and automatically the message with the new details will be sent so therefore we map the data to replace the data automatically with each and every new response the next is the description so let's map the description of the task and here is the due date so we have received the due date as well so i will simply map that and done now all these details are not mandatory so i'm just going to click on save and send test request button and here we can see that we have received the response in this response it is given that the message is sent so let's go and check whether the message is received on our telegram account or not and yes here the message is received you can see that these are all the details hello team here is a new task the task name description and the due date please check and make sure to complete the task before due date regards this means that our connection is absolutely successful so now whenever a new task will be created in goha level automatically the response will be captured over here and with all the details of the task a message will be sent on our telegram group to the team members okay so here we have simply taken two simple steps trigger and action in trigger we have taken go high level and in action we have taken telegram bot and we have connected both of them with the help of public connect in such a way that whenever a task will be added in go high level crm immediately a message will be sent with the help of a bot which we have created on our telegram group i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabbly Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate pabbly dot com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum dot pabbly dot com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget it to share it with your friends. And also, please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.